Every day I wake up, somebody is talking about me on YouTube and it's not positive most of the time. And it's not positive most of the time. If every parent I've ever helped, if every black child's parent that I've ever saved did a five minute testimonial on YouTube, we could shut down the hate. If every child I saved parent would do a five minute testimonial on how Dr. Umar helped them save their child. A two minute testimonial on YouTube about how I helped you save your child. We could shut the haters down, but y'all won't do that. Y'all won't do that. Y'all entertained by the nonsense. It reminds me of Brother El Hodge, Malik El Shabazz, Malcolm X, child of the Garvey movement, child of Garvey UNIA officer parents. While Malcolm X was out there fighting for the people, putting his life on the line for the people. The black community knew that Brother Malcolm was being stalked by enemies and haters and agents. They knew it. They knew he had five girls and a wife at home. But guess what? Few people stood up and said, you know what? Since Malcolm is fighting for the people, we're going to stand up and fight for Malcolm. Only a few people came to Malcolm's side. Most of us stood by and let them harass that brother, threaten that brother, and ultimately take his life. We didn't do nothing about it. We didn't do nothing about it. And so now we're going through the same thing with Dr. Umar on a lower scale. On a lower scale, we're going through the same thing. Dr. Umar fighting for our kids. He's building a school. And instead of us, instead of us chin checking his haters, instead of us shutting down the hate movement, we'd rather watch it and be entertained with popcorn and soda pop. We'd rather watch it and be entertained with popcorn and soda pop. So I got to fight to save our kids and I got to fight off the coons at the same time. Because we don't believe in protecting those who fight for us. Y'all want to be entertained. Black people want to be entertained, brothers and sisters. Don't worry about the school. I don't care if it, took, if it take 50 years to build the school. I can promise you one thing. I don't care if it take a hundred years to build a school. I can promise you one thing. I don't care if it take another two years to build a school. I can promise you one thing. I don't care if it take another one year to build a school. I can promise you one thing. And guess what that one thing is? Guess what I can promise you? Guess what I can promise you right now with 100% certainty? Whether it takes another year, two year, three year, four years, I can promise you one thing for certain. I can promise you this. That I will have an institution up and running before any of my haters do. I promise you I will have an institution up and running before anybody else in the conscious community will. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. Whenever it comes, it will be before yours come. Whenever it comes, it will be before anybody else does it. I promise you that. So I don't care how long it takes. If it's taking too long, go build it. Go build a school then. Go build one yourself. If you feel that way, go build a school yourself. But you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. You want to sit around and wait for everybody else to do all the work and then criticize them while they're doing it. Getting mad at him because y'all not donating enough money. Now, we don't want to take no responsibility for that. We're going to blame you. We out here Christmas shopping. We out here spending billions of dollars on Christmas gifts. And Dr. Umar need a quarter million for the HVAC. Dr. Umar need a quarter million for the HVAC. But I got to go get these Jordans. I got to go get this hair. I got to go get this Gucci, this Louis. I got to get this laptop. Schools is destroying black boys, but that's not important. That's not important. Once again, thank you to the supporters. Thank you to the supporters. Thank you to the supporters.